In this tutorial, we are going to talk about pressure. Pressure is defined as the force per unit area. Pressure is given by force divided by area. So pressure is the ratio between the force and the area. Okay, so let's say you have a surface which has got uh, these two, these three, then the force acting on um, this uh, surface, let's say it is um, 200 newtons. Okay, we know that to find the area of this surface is going to be L times B, where we are going to say 3 times 2, which is going to give us 6 meters squared. So we can say that pressure is going to be equal to the force is 200, then the area is 6. Okay, so we can say that 200 divided by 6 is 33.33 newton per meter squared. By the way, the SI unit for pressure is newton per meter squared. Using dimension analysis, we can see that the force is in newton, the area is in meter squared. Okay, so therefore the SI unit for pressure is newton per square meter. Okay, now what we have to see from here is this. Let's say that uh, you have two things. We have we are saying that pressure is the force divided by the area. What it means is that um, when the force in, in, uh, increases, the pressure has to go up. When the force goes down, the pressure has to go down. So we can see that the pressure and the force, they are direct proportion to each other. But if the area goes up, the pressure has to go down. If the area goes down, the pressure has to go up. So the pressure and area, they are inverse proportion to each other. Okay, now let's have a shape where we increase the area. What happens to the pressure? Okay, let's have this. Let's say that this is 20 meters and this is 10 meters. We have increased the area. Let's maintain the pressure. In the first example, we found that the pressure was 33.33 newton per meter, where we had the area which was 6 square meter. Okay, now in this case, we are saying that we have changed. We have 20 and 10. So it's going to be 20 times 10, which is going to give us a 200 meter squared. And we say that the force which we had, it was a 200 newtons. So pressure is equal to force is 200 divided by the area, which is 200. We can see that we're going to get a 1 newton meter. So as you can see, if you increase the area, the pressure has to go down. Okay, that is what we need to understand about pressure. So pressure is just basically the force divided by the area. Now, let's say we have we have a cylinder. Okay, we have a cylinder. So here is our cylinder. Now inside here, let's say there is water. Now the height of the cylinder, from here all the way to there, let's call it H. And let's say that there is lead on top of the, what, the cylinder, and it is crossed. Okay. Now how do we find the pressure? So what we have to understand is that pressure is given by the force divided by the area. Now, the force the force exerted by uh, the water is just basically the weight of the water. So we can say that this is going to be mg. So where there is force, I'm going to put mg. So I'm going to have pressure is going to be equal to the mass times gravity. Everything divided by the area. Now we know that the area of the cylinder is just basically pi r squared. So I'm going to replace this with him by r squared. Okay, now let's talk about the mass. The mass of the water. The water. We know that we don't know the mass of the water, but we know that density is given by 
the mass divided by the volume. To find the mass, we can see that the mass is going to be the density times the volume. So where there is mass, I'm going to put density times the volume. Okay? So I'm going to have P is going to be equal to the density times V times G, which is going to be divided by pi R squared. Okay? Now, the volume of the cylinder, let's write this. We're saying that pressure is equal to the density times volume times g is equal to pi r squared. Okay? Now, what we need to understand is that the volume of the cylinder is given by pi r squared times h. So, I'm going to replace this with the, uh, v. Okay? So, I'm going to come there and say this is going to be the, the pressure is going to be equal to the density by the symbol rho times pi r squared times h times g, everything divided by pi r squared. So as we can see, we can cancel the pi, can cancel the r squared. So the, uh, the pressure is going to be equal to the density times the h times g. So this happened to be the formula for finding the gauge pressure. Now, what we are trying to say here is, uh, we have come up with the formula for pressure, which is um, pressure is given by the density times height times g. So this is the formula for calculating, this is what we call the gauge pressure. The gauge pressure. Okay, now if this is the gauge pressure, this is when the cylinder is closed. Okay? Now when we open the cylinder, let's say it is opened, it is exposed to air. If this is exposed to air, there is the pressure of the air which we call the atmospheric pressure, okay, which is ATM. Okay, so what we have to understand is that, what we have to understand is this. This is 1 ATM, atmospheric pressure. So 1 ATM is just basically 1.01 .01 times 10 raised to the power 5 pascals. So, for us to find 1, one ATM is, is giving us 1.01 .01 times 10 to the power 5 pascals. So, that is the pressure of the atmospheric, in the atmosphere. That is the atmospheric pressure. Okay? So, now, if the cylinder is open, meaning that we have the pressure of the water inside and the pressure of the, what, the atmosphere. So, to find the total pressure, what we have to do is, uh, we have to say, it's going to be the pressure, it's going to be uh, the pressure of ATM plus the, the gauge pressure. Okay, now the gauge pressure is uh, uh, density times H times G. Okay, so it is the pressure is going to be, we, we are saying that this is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the power 5 pascals plus the density times H times G. So when an object when it is op when when it is open to air this is the formula for finding the the pressure okay and the question itself is going to tell to say this is open to water or it it, it is open to air or not so if it is open meaning there is you need to add the atmospheric pressure for you to find the total pressure so we have the question here which is saying calculate the pressure 150 meters below the surface of the sea now they're talking about the sea the, it's the sea can't be closed. Definitely it's going to be open. So the only formula which is going to, to help us to find the total pressure is going to be this. We can't use this because it is not closed. The sea can't be closed. So it is open to air. There is ATM there. So to find the pressure in this case, what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to say, uh, pressure is going to be equal to 1.0, 1 times 10 raised to the power 5 plus the, the the density we have been told that it is um the density is um 1.026 grams per centimeter cubic now changing grams per centimeter cubic to kg per uh, cubic meter what you have to do is we need just to divide a one we need just to do times a 1000 so, for example, the answer which you have here is uh, 
we have 1.026 we need just to do times a 1000 doing times 1000 we are converting into what kilograms per cubic meter but if you're changing from kg per cubic meter all the way to gram per centimeter cubic you have to um, to divide it by a 1000 okay so for example let's say we have this let's just create space here let's say we have um, let's say we have a 1000 a 1000 kg per cubic meter now we are converting this one into gram per cubic centimeter what we need to do is we need just to divide this by a 1000 so it's going to be a 1000 divided by a 1000 is going to give us 1 kg per centimeter cubic so if you have a 2000 uh, kg per cubic meter you convert it into gram per cubic meter uh, cubic centimeters what you have to do is just getting a 2000 divided by a 1000 so we are going to get a 2 gram per cubic centimeter okay what if we are converting uh, from grams let's say we are converting we are converting from let's say we have um, a 1 gram let's say a 3 a 3 gram per cubic centimeters to kg per meter cubic so what we have to do here is uh, we get this number times a 1000 so 3 times a 1000 we are going to get a 3000 kg per watt per cubic meter so this is how you convert from gram per cubic meter um, per cubic meter uh, gram per cubic centimeter to kg per uh, cubic meters Okay, now we are saying that the formula when it is exposed to to air here is the formula we are saying that pressure is equal to the atm pressure plus the gauge pressure and we are saying that the this atm is 1.0 1 times 10 raised to the power 5 pascals plus this is the density times the height times the g so we'll go there and say this is going to give us 1.01 .01 times 10 raised to the power 5 pascals plus this is going to give us the density we have converted this okay meaning times a 1000 so we, we say 1.026 times a 1000 which is um 106 1026 times the h we have, we have been told that is 150 so 150 times the g is 9.8 so the pressure is going to be this pascals plus we have uh, 10.6 times 150 times 9.8 so what I'm getting is a 1000 not a 1000 I'm getting this Okay, this is what I'm getting. It's also in Pascals. So we add those two. You can see that our pressure, our pressure is going to be equal to say this plus 1.01 .01 times 10 to the power 5. Okay, so if I can put this answer in a scientific is giving me um, 1.61 times 10 raised to the power 6 pascals so this is the answer for this question okay